a decree uh, based on Job twenty-two twenty-eight, 28, which says, We shall decree a thing, and it shall be established. I decree Psalms 66 and 12, that you are coming into your wealthy place. I decree Psalms 118 and verse 25, that God will send prosperity now. I decree Psalms 112 and verse 3, that wealth and riches will be in your house. Um, I decree Ephesians 3 and 20, that God will do exceeding abundantly above all that you ask or think. I decree Philippians 4 and 19, that my God will supply all of your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. I decree Psalms 23 and 1, that you will not want, you will not lack. I decree Isaiah 48, 17, that the Lord will teach you to profit and lead you in the way that you shall go. I decree uh, Isaiah 54, 1 through 3, that as you enlarge the place of your tent and stretch forth the curtains of your habitation, lengthen your cords, strengthen your stakes, for you will break forth you will break forth on the right hand and on the left. I decree Proverbs 10.22, the blessing of the Lord makes rich. Proverbs 13.22, the wealth of the sinner finds its way into your hands. Father, I thank you for these decrees manifesting and these scriptures against Deuteronomy 1.11. May the Lord increase you a thousand times more, a thousand times more a thousand times more. And uh, I decree that you'll have a quantum leap in your finances, your business, your ministry, and your accounts. There will be a quantum leap on this leap year. This is leap day. This is the 29th of February, that extra day. So I'm decreeing that you'll leap, that you'll see a leap in your finances, a quantum leap as a result of your giving as you give on this leap day. Believe God, sow it, decree it, release your faith. Nothing magical about 111. It's just a number you can use to release your faith and launch your faith, especially in the area of giving. Thank you so much for those who are sowing and those who are giving. You can do it anytime during the broadcast or if you're watching the replay. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your support. Those who have given, those who are giving today, and those who are giving uh, as we move into the new month, the monthly partners, I really do appreciate you and thank God for your giving as well. Um, today, let me read the verse. We're calling it Leaping Over Walls. And um, let me read the verse for you. It's in Psalms 18 and verse number 29. For by thee have I run through a troop and by my God have I leaped over a wall. By my God have I leaped over a wall. Now we're talking about increase. And leaping over walls is a picture of leaping over restrictions. A wall is a barrier. A wall is a restriction. A wall represents a limit. A wall is designed to either keep you out or keep you in. And leaping over a wall is a prophetic picture of leaping over obstacles and limitations. It's a great picture of increase because many times you hear people saying, I feel like I've hit a wall. I've hit a wall in my ministry, my business, my creativity. I've hit a wall. It's like I can't go any further. I've, I've come to a place where I can't I can't see any, anything larger, anything bigger. I've hit a wall. Well, God doesn't want you to hit a wall. He wants you to leap over it. So I, I prophesy no hitting the wall, but leaping over the wall. Anything that has come against you that makes you feel like you've hit a wall, that you can't go any further, that you can't increase more. You've hit a barrier, again, in your life, your ministry, your influence, um, your your business, your finances. I decree that in this leap year, you would leap over. You would you won't you won't climb it. You'll leap over it. The word leap means to jump. It means to go high. Leaping is an expression uh, that represents going high. It represents springing over something, leaping. And God wants you to leap. I love that word leap. Um, the scripture says, for instance, 
when it says in this particular verse, by my God, have I run through a troop and my God, have I leaped over a wall? It connects the leaping over a wall with running through a troop. So evidently, David is, is referring to some type of warfare. Okay, he's able to run through a troop, any, any opposition against him, any troop that has come against him. Uh, he's able to run through it and any barrier or wall that has been erected to stop him, he leaps over it. He's unstoppable. He's unstoppable. I like that. Let's be unstoppable. Troops can't stop you. Walls can't stop you. You're going forward and you're leaping over. Let me say that again. You're going forward and you're leaping over. There's another verse uh, in the book of Genesis chapter uh, 49 uh, when it's a reference to Joseph. Um, the word of the Lord comes to Joseph through Jacob. And Jacob prophesies over Joseph and says, your branches will run over the wall. Another one of my favorite verses. Your branches will climb. It's, it's, it's a picture of a branch climbing a wall and running over the wall. In other words, the wall doesn't stop that branch from expanding and moving forward. When that branch hits a wall, it climbs up the wall and it runs over the wall. So I'm believing that you'll be like a branch that runs over the wall. You'll leap over a wall. Any wall, any barrier, any restriction, any, any limitation that is blocking your increase, you'll either run over it or you'll leap over it. Again, you'll run over it or you'll leap over it. I want to stir your faith to break limitations and break restrictions and break barriers, especially in your finances. Don't become discouraged. Don't give up. Uh, don't lose hope. Believe the prophetic word. Believe the word of God. Uh, speak it, decree it, see yourself doing it, envision it, and um, believe God for it, even as you give and as you sow. We talked about increase can come through giving, it can come through prayer, it can come through praise, it can come through wisdom, it can come through fasting, come through humility. Um, it can come, as, as one of, one of our uh, leaders said, it can come through obedience. If you'll be willing and obedient, you'll lead the good of the land. So there are many ways to increase. It comes to enlarging your vision, enlarge the place of your tent, stretch forth the curtains of your habitations, lengthen your course, strengthen your stakes. In other words, expand your vision, see more, for you shall break forth on the right hand and on the left, or you will increase. So there are many different ways to increase. One of them, of course, is through giving. So I challenge people to give all the time, because God will multiply your seed sown, 2 Corinthians 9 and 10. And you can actually multiply and increase through your giving. Giving it shall be given unto you. Uh, good measure pressed down, shaken together, and running over shall men give unto your bosom. Running over is another picture of increase. He anoints my head with oil, Psalm 23. My cup runs over. Uh, Malachi 3.10, I'll open up the floodgates of heaven and pour you out a blessing so large you'll not have room enough to receive it. Represents running over, represents increase. Jesus told them to let down their nets and 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 into the go into the deep and let down your nets for a great catch and and there was such an increase until their nets break we often call that net breaking miracles and then there are many miracles of multiplication in scripture jesus feeding the 5000 with a few loaves and a few fish that represents increase on a miracle level the lady borrowing as many vessels as she could at the word of the prophet and pouring oil in, and the oil kept pouring until all the vessels were filled. She sold the vessels and paid her debt, sold the oil and paid her debt. Again, that's a supernatural picture of increase. So there are miracles of increase as well. And uh, I, I really want to believe God not only for you to increase and grow little by little on, on a consistent basis, sometimes increases step by step, little by little. But then there'll be suddenlies and there'll be miracles of increase in your life uh, in this year in 2024. So that's my encouragement for you today. And um, I want you to believe God and confess I am leaping over any wall, any barrier, any restriction, any obstruction uh, based on Psalms 18 and 29. Psalms 18 and 29. Read that verse. Memorize it. Decree it. Confess it. Speak it. Let it come out of your mouth. Because that's the way faith operates. If you say unto this mountain, a mountain is another barrier. If you say unto this mountain, 
or if you say unto a wall, be thou removed and be cast into the sea and shall not doubt in your heart, but shall believe that the things that you say shall come to pass. You'll have whatever you say. Mark eleven twenty five. You can have what you say. If you believe and don't doubt in your heart, but believe that the things that you say, the things that you say, the things that you say shall come to pass, you'll have whatever you say. So say it, decree it, speak it. This is how faith operates. Uh, we, we, this is the, the, the word of faith that we believe that if you will confess with your mouth, that's the way faith operates. If you'll confess, we have in the same spirit of faith, we believe, therefore we speak. And we believe, therefore we speak. We believe, therefore we speak. So keep saying it, keep decreeing it, um, keep keep believing it, keep sowing, keep giving. And again, if you had not had a chance to do that 111 seed, you can do that now at Cash App AJE Global and PayPal at Apostle JE, the number one. Thank you so much for coming on today. Look forward to being with Crusaders Church this Saturday at 2 p.m. at 3821 South Michigan. And we start on time. And uh, we're, we're not there long. We're there maybe until 4, you know, 4, 4.30 if it goes long. But we're very quick. We come in, praise and worship, prophesy, preach the word, having a ministry to people who need healing, deliverance, or the prophetic word with our teams there. We always have visitors coming from different parts of the country that come to our services. So thank you. I do want to welcome, I forget to do this, I do want to welcome those that are tuning in from Europe and tuning in from uh, United Kingdom, from Holland, the Netherlands, from West Africa, Ghana, Nigeria, South Africa. Uh, if you're from Kenya, I want to uh, encourage those who are tuning in from Singapore, Asia, those tuning in from Australia, New Zealand, all over the Caribbean, uh, from the Bahamas, all the way down to uh, Trinidad uh, and Tobago. I, I want to I welcome you. Uh, those in North, North America, Canada, uh, those in Central America, Mexico, those in the Caribbean, those in the islands, wherever you're tuning in from, I do want to welcome you and thank you for your support as well. Sometimes I forget, but I know that these these teachings go around the world, and I want to encourage you um, in your walk with God as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I'm going to continue this conversation in Clubhouse, and as always in departing until you hear from me again, God bless you and double shalom. God bless.